Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arteta reacts to Nketiah comments on not playing regularly for Arsenal. Mikel Arteta has suggested that Edin Nketiah has every right to feel frustrated about his lack of game time and insisted that no player in the Arsenal squad deserves more opportunities more than the striker in comments reported by Football London. Nketiah looks set to leave the Emirates at the end of the season. He is out of contract. and there has, so far, been no sign of fresh term being agreed. The 22-year-old has admitted this week that he is determined to play regularly when asked whether he is likely to still be at Arsenal next season. Nketiah only made his first Premier League start of the campaign at the weekend with Alexander Lacazette absent. Arteta was asked about his comments ahead of their clash with Chelsea this week. But rather than express any disappointment about what Nketiah said, the Spaniard conceded that he can completely understand where the youngster is coming from. He's right to be upset. This is what we want from the players that haven't had the minutes, especially Eddie. Because if there is a player in the dressing room that deserves more chances, that is Eddie for sure, he said as reported by Football London. Nketiah has an opportunity to impress right now. And if he does well, some will argue that he should be offered a new deal at Arsenal. However, it does appear that he's not quite at the level to be a regular starter for Arsenal. And with that, it appears to be the right time for Nketiah to move on. He could be a very decent backup for them in the years to come. But surely, if he hopes to realize his full potential, he needs to get away and play regularly. Given his contract situation, this summer marks the perfect opportunity to find a new home. Arsenal loanee Lucas Torreira very close to securing a permanent move away. Of all the players out on loan right now, the one most likely to leave on a permanent basis was Lucas Torreira and that now appears to be almost concluded. According to Football Insider, the Uruguayan has reached personal terms with Fiorentina and it's now just a matter of the clubs finalizing the transfer. Apparently, a four-year contract between the player and the club has been agreed and all that remains to happen is for the Italians to trigger the buy clause in the loan agreement. Torreira never really shone at the Emirates, but we always knew he was a good player and that has proven to be the case in Florence. It's a shame it never did work out for the 26-year-old at Arsenal, but this happens in football. Certain players are far better suited to be a particular league and in Torreira's case, that is Serie A and not the Premier League. Torreira's sale will release some funds for Arsenal to use in the summer transfer window. Hopefully, it will be used wisely and while it's sad that it never worked out for the player in North London, I'm sure that everyone at the club, including the fans, will wish him all the best in his new venture. Arsenal told 15 million euros will get them winger. Arsenal will be able to get Colin youngster John Thielman for 15 million euros were they to make a bid of that amount for him. That's according to Tag24, who say the German side would be more than willing to accept a bid of that amount were it to arrive. Thielman has been a regular for Colin in the Bundesliga this season, making 26 appearances in the league, scoring one and registering two assists. Those are not spectacular numbers by anyone's reckoning but have apparently caught the eye of Arsenal, with a recent report in England stating that they are keen and ready to offer as much as 15 million euros for the 19-year-old. That same report stated that the Gunners have already been in contact with Lukas Podolski, who played for both clubs, to inquire about the winger. Tag24 now cover those claims and say that if there is any truth, to what they consider a crazy rumor, then Arsenal will likely get their man. According to them, Colin can hardly say no to such a figure as the coronavirus crisis has created too big a financial hole at the club and such a figure would be more than welcome. Of course, it remains to be seen whether there is any truth in the rumor and at present there is only one obscure outlet in England saying Arsenal are keen on Thielman. It seems, though, if they were to make a move and for the figure mention it, there would be nothing to stop them from getting their man. Arsenal informed targets a club that summer offer being ready. Arsenal are claimed to have told Palmeiras that they want to talk to midfielder Danilo this summer as they prepare to make their offer to sign him. The Gunners are believed to be gearing up to make their move to sign the 20-year-old in the summer, with him having impressed in his recent performances. 
Brazilian journalist Jorge Nicola has claimed that we have already informed Palmeiras that we will be making a move to sign their youngster in the coming window with a view to adding him to our playing squad ahead of the new season. It remains to be seen whether his arrival will affect the future of Albert Sambi Lokonga, who has played very little football in recent months, but his little playing time could be an insight into manager Mikel Arteta's belief in him. The squad is extremely light at present, however, and more bodies are definitely needed ahead of the new season, especially if we are to play European football. How much faith our side will have in the new youngster is another guessing game, however. With less first team playing time under his belt than Lokonga when he arrived, and he could well be a long term project that will need time to settle in. Lautaro Martinez isn't keen on signing for Arsenal. Lautaro Martinez has again been linked with Arsenal this week with the Gunners set to be keen on the Argentine striker. Mikel Arteta needs an addition in attack, and the Inter Milan player is one of a number of options available around Europe this summer. However, Calcio Mercato says the player isn't so keen on signing for Arsenal. They state he's ready to snap approaches from the London club and Atletico Madrid because he'd rather sign for someone like Manchester City, Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Barcelona or Real Madrid. There is no sign right now that Liverpool would even have interest, given Jurgen Klopp doesn't really need a player in that position. Meanwhile, Manchester City are thought to be working on a move for Erling Haaland. It could be the case that should the other clubs not come forward, then Arsenal would have renewed hope in the summer. That said, if Calcio Mercato are correct on Martinez's stance, then Arteta may prefer to look at other players who don't feel they are above the Gunners right now. Arsenal are interested in Bayern Munich midfielder Marcel Sabitzer. Arsenal are interested in Bayern Munich Marcel Sabitzer, according to claims from Germany. This week's edition of Sport Build looks at the Bundesliga side's future plans following their elimination from the Champions League at the hands of Villarreal last week. When focusing on shaping up their squad, the German magazine states the midfielder is one of the players who will be allowed to go in the next window. The 28-year-old followed his manager, Julian Nagelsmann, from RB Leipzig to the Allianz Arena last summer. However, things haven't gone as per the plan for him, as he's been restricted to only 8 starts in all competitions for the Bavarian club. Sportbild state the Austria international has had a disappointing campaign so far, and Bayern should part ways with him so they can save on his salary. When talking about seaters, Arsenal and Atletico Madrid are tagged with the Gunners among the club skin on the ex Leipzig man and Bayern ready to let him leave, Mikel Arteta's side stand a reasonable chance of signing Sabitzer in this summer. David James believes Arsenal should be in the race to sign Erling Haaland. Former Premier League goalkeeper David James believes Arsenal should be doing all they can to try and sign Erling Haaland this summer. Manchester City have reportedly agreed terms with Borussia Dortmund's talisman as Pep Guardiola's side look to set trigger his £63 million release clause. The Mail report that Holland would become the highest paid Premier League player on a reported £500,000 a week. The 21-year-old has become one of Europe's deadliest marksmen and his release clause has prompted a race to secure his signature. But James, a former stopper at City, Liverpool and Aston Villa feels that Mikel Arteta's gunners should be in the mix with Europe's other heavyweights. James said, with Holland coming up for £65 million, that's something that maybe Arsenal should have a word about. Given Holland's desire to compete for major trophies, a move to the Emirates Stadium isn't likely to be something that appeals to the Norwegian superstar. Mikel Arteta is currently in the rebuilding phase with the Gunners and that's why the likes of Holland and Dusan Blahovic are currently out of Arsenal's reach. But Arsenal are in desperate need of a world-class striker in the summer window with Edin Ketea and Alexander Lacazette likely to leave on free transfers. And after not replacing Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in the January window, it looks like Arsenal's lack of ruthlessness in front of goal could cost them in the pursuit of Champions League football. Failure to qualify for the Europe's top club competition will likely see the North London side miss out on another confident forward, Darwin Nunes. David James is right that Arsenal should be looking to attract the players in the elk of Holland, but it's just not a realistic option right now.
I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.